What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are starting today's vlog in the Mark V Supra because we are heading off to SOS to drop it off to get our wing painted. And after that, we are going to Magnaflow to check out the final result of the C8 exhaust. We actually have a week straight of raining here in San Diego, which is something we are not used to at all. And we are on our triple eight R's, which I'm not gonna say it's sketchy to drive these tires in the rain, but it's definitely not my first choice of tire to be driving while in the rain. I know you guys love to laugh and make fun of it, but when it rains this hard in California, especially Southern California, this is how the freeways end up. We're going about 50 miles an hour and everyone is just taking their own pace. And we've passed about like three accidents since we've left the shop. It doesn't rain here much, so when it does rain, the roads get pretty slick. And people here just don't really know what it means to have tires that are equipped for the rain. So honestly, like people do crash a little more than normal here. It's just the way it is. All right, just dropped her off. Gonna get the new wing test fitted. We'll see you in a couple days. Before I show you guys the new exhaust that's been put together, I actually wanna give you guys a closer look at the stock exhaust, because while we were gone, Richard actually opened this thing up and we discovered something pretty amazing. So once you go ahead and remove this heat shielding, we cut out two windows. One, we discovered that the car actually comes factory with an X-pipe, and two, you can actually see how they did their valving system. What's really interesting off the bat is this is actually the same thing we came up with ourselves. We'd used an X-pipe and we actually had a muffler system that utilized one or two pipes depending if your valve was open or closed. You can imagine the exhaust coming through right here on both sides. As it comes across, the gases flow through the X-pipe and as it comes through, when you have this valve closed, you actually have the exhaust coming through here, passing through here, hitting the wall off the valve, bouncing back and then exiting from this exit hole right here. At that point, the gas then expands into this chamber and as you can see, it is walled off right here from the middle. So all the exhaust fills up this whole entire chamber and then bounces off this wall and then has to find its way into this outlet which then carries out through the inner exhaust port. So that's everything with the exhaust closed, which does a really good job at sound dampening, as you guys saw with the stock exhaust. Once this exhaust goes from closed to open, the exhaust passes through, goes through the X, and is free flowing all the way out of this side, which gets a whole lot of volume. So comparing that construction to the new construction that we came up with yesterday, because if you guys don't remember, we decided to get rid of the X muffler because it was a little bit too quiet. We went to Magnaflow's two smallest muffler ports. Now this is actually the same thing as the stock system, we didn't even realize it. The exhaust comes through here, goes through the X, passes over to our muffler system, and with the exhaust closed, it goes through both of them, and then comes through. Then when the exhaust is open, the flap just comes straight through, passes through only one passageway, and comes right out the inner exit. I'm gonna interrupt today's video to say thank you to our sponsor, Ring. Now you guys have heard me talk about Ring products before in the past, and I'm gonna tell you guys again today why you should be checking out Ring products for your home. Ring is an at-home security system that allows you to keep an extra eye on your house when you're not there. Now, not only do I have a Ring security system at the warehouse, but I also have one outside of my front house. This right here is a video doorbell. It allows me to keep an extra eye outside of my house while also acting as a doorbell feature. I get motion notifications outside of my house when anybody walks by, and I also get a video chat option when someone rings my doorbell. Ring also has tons of other video and motion detector products you can have surrounding your house. I have multiple motion sensors and cameras surrounding my house, which allows me to tap into a live feed at any moment. Whenever there is motion around any of the sensors, you'll always get popped up with this notification. Within that, you're gonna have a track record history of everything that's ever happened. Ring allows me to stay calm when I'm not at home or when I'm I'm traveling and there's no reason why you guys shouldn't have it in your home today. And right now as a viewer of the channel, Ring is offering you guys a special deal on the Ring Welcome Kit by going to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. This kit comes with a video doorbell and a Chime Pro, which is all you need to start Ring of security around your home today. So stop wasting your time, go over to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt, that's ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt to take advantage of this offer today. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. I obviously found that extremely interesting considering we had no idea what the insides of this actually looked like and to see how close we were to what they did from the factory, I don't know, it's kind of a cool little feature. This is something extra I just kind of wanted to show you guys because we never really go this far in depth and I could tell from yesterday's video that you guys liked how in depth I was going with the explaining process of how we were going to design the new exhaust, so I wanted to go ahead and show that. For the last hour or so we've been finishing up the rest of the exhaust, tacking everything, getting it together and we spent a lot of time positioning the tips and the depths and all that type of stuff. I decided not to show you guys that quite yet I want to give you guys the final result before we do that. But I am happy to report that the exhaust is completely done. It's all tacked and ready. Now we're just going to go ahead and do the final welds on it. We're going to reinstall all back on the car and we will be on our way. And 
And before we put the rear bumper back on, I kind of want to show a brief little overview of what we did because I know I went over on computer, but I want to show you guys on camera as well. So you have the cats right there and we have both of the exhaust starting coming through, both of the X. This is what we were referring to about the valves opening and closing and only using half the muffler versus the whole entire muffler. So as it comes through, when this valve is closed, the exhaust will come through, bounces back to here, comes back around through the muffler and then comes out the inside. But when the valve is open, the exhaust comes through after the X and just dumps out. So that should be our loud factor and that's what's gonna give us most of our volume. So although we are using two small mufflers, we're only gonna be utilizing half of it when the valves are open. We're gonna test with this first and if for every reason over the next day or so, I'm like, yo, it's just not loud enough. As you can tell, we are on B-band. So if, if we decide it's better with no mufflers, we can offer a straight pipe version that just clears that up in general. And then if someone wants to buy this and they wanna have it as a little bit more taint versus going a little bit louder, you're gonna have that option and still have valving. A really, really cool, neat feature that I think is the good middle ground with this car until we just decide to go full gnarly twin turbo and we'll get there eventually. But for now, this is great. We're gonna put the rear bumper back on, put in our fender liners and get our first start. It's so my favorite thing beyond the car getting a little bit louder is the fact that and we were all kind of talking about this off camera, but just the look of the tips is the coolest thing about the whole entire exhaust. You guys know how much I liked the carbon tips on the Mark V and it looks even better on a quad op. Rather than having just two, now we have four. And Richard, what size are these tips? Four and a half. The four and a half carbon fiber tips. And just the way it sticks out, I know I keep saying this and I know I'm probably pissing off a good amount of people. This car just gives me a lot of McLaren vibes and supercar vibes. And with the exhaust tips coming out, this, it just looks monumentally better than the stock tips. It just looks like a supercar. It does not look like a Corvette at all. And I want to point this out too, because this was something that because we had the CAD design and 3D files, we were able to double check this, but it gets pretty tough to fit this right here without it interfering. Cause yeah, the fender ladder comes down right here. We have a few inches of play, but they had to configure it a few different times to make this fit and be able to use all the stock motors. Cause as I said in yesterday's video, as you can see here, this is actually a MagnaFlow part. They actually have the same type of valves that the car comes with. All you do is retain the motor. So they literally overnight laser engraved a new platform and all of it is plug and play. So when you get an exhaust and you want to do this, you just unbolt the motor and it's going to come with this new bridge piece with the valve and you just bolt it right in and it's plug and play. So it's no wiring or anything. You are literally reutilizing everything. But it's the fact that that comes with it and they were able to make that in literally like 12, 18 hours time, it's pretty rad. All right, before we go any farther and butting everything back up, we're gonna go ahead and do a start test just to make sure we don't have any rattles or anything. And this is gonna be our first time getting any sort of sound test with this new setup. So here's our first look with it on the ground. A few things I like to point out is with the grate, you can actually like see through and you, you can see some of the bits and it looks really, really cool. And again, these tips are literally my favorite thing about this exhaust. Like I think it looks really cool. A me, me and Calvin were making. Woo! A little me, me and Calvin were making were like, oh, so we heard you like GTR. So we gave you a GTR exhaust. The tip layout is gonna be a very, very uh, popular layout. And it's us, it just like screams GTR. That sounds so much better than what it was. Monumentally better. Want to give me some revs, Calf? Damn. 
All right, so it sounds good when it's revving, but how does it sound during flybys? We're lucky the rain just kind of stopped. The roads are a little bit more dry. So now I'm gonna do some flybys and all sorts of gears and we'll see how it sounds. Off the bat, it feels much more like alive on the inside. You kind of like feel the motor, like it feels, it feels really good. It's weird that I'm saying an exhaust feels good. <laughs> but it feels good. I'll, I'll do our same thing as last one. That sounded good. That sounded really good. Already got some good color on those pipes too. Yeah, so overall, the sound on the inside, and we're gonna drive it home and we'll hear it, but it, like, it doesn't, it, it's just like the Venador, it's just like the 458. The mid engine cars, the louder you go, it doesn't really affect the interior cabin that much. So I'm curious to drive on the freeway to see if there's any drone. I doubt there's gonna be anything at all. I mean, you could tell it's a little bit louder, but it definitely is an ear piercing on the inside, which is usually exactly what you want because the stock exhaust as it was, was already enough to know that you're giving it the juice and you get the noise you want already. The fact that we brought that volume up on the outside. Let's get some in-car noise here, boys. Just putting it in Z mode, valves are open. So much more in cabin. So everything I just said about it being not too loud on the inside, I retract everything I said. I was driving the car with the windows down, just only going to the top of third gear, and now being inside the car with the windows up, there's actually a pretty large difference, and I almost think it does more for you on the inside than it does on the outside. And I wouldn't say any of these noises are drone, this is just straight, just the pitch of the motor. It sounds phenomenal, actually, and you can hear it like kind of crackling on its own. That gets me really excited, but it sounds great. I'm really excited right now, and when I get really excited, I always like skim over things, and I forget to talk about things I wanted to talk about. So I'm kind of letting it sink in right now, but I really want to get my first impressions to you guys out there, because I did some more talking with Magnaflow, and they said if I don't find anything that's weird or annoying or any weird drones or rattles or anything, this kit right now will be the kit that they're gonna bring to market. And usually, from the day that we finish testing, it takes 72 work hours before it is ready to hit the market. So that means that within less than a week, this exact exhaust that we just made will be ready for purchase. I know every C8 owner who gets a car is immediately gonna want an exhaust, and this is definitely the one to get. And your boy helped design it, so just a little bonus feature. Quick little drone check, I'm going 83 miles an hour and I'm still in V8 mode. I haven't even got it to toggle into V4 mode yet because I'm not consistent with the throttle. Even in V8 mode, car 100% has zero drone. Uh, when you get on the gas a little bit to accelerate by a couple of miles an hour, you definitely hear it more than you normally would. Uh, even when you get it to like drop a gear, it's volume is there, but 100% zero drone. So I'm gonna drive with this obviously for the next couple of days and we'll see if any anything comes up in all types of driving situations. But if this is how it's gonna sit, and that means this is pretty much gonna be the production version. And when you get this, you this is with the mufflers on version, and then it will also come with a set of straight pipes. So if you want more volume, you can put in those straight pipes right away, and you'll have a little bit more volume than you have right now. That moment when you just got gas, but you wanna hear your exhaust even though you just got it, so you're gonna get the shot for the boys. <laughs> The longer the car's been running, the more and more little like backfire, not, I don't, I don't wanna call it backfire, the more the little crackle and that little noise that everyone has like really been obsessed with the last year or so, you're hearing it a lot more, which is awesome. Super excited to hear that. And the thing when you're just like, even when you're in that parking lot speed, I know it sounds kind of silly to be talking about what the car sounds like under 50 miles per hour, but it sounds mean, dude. It sounds really good. And something I've never really experienced before is the upshift are one of the coolest sounds the car makes. 
Normally it's the downshifts, the crispy downshifts, but with this transmission, you're more hyped on the crispy upshifts, especially with this exhaust. It just sounds, it sounds exotic. Why is this car exotic? It's an American car, what the heck? Love it, I love it. And as you guys can tell, really every other creator in the world is getting this car because it is literally that good. Super, super happy we ended up securing this car as early as we did because I'm literally loving every moment of this car. Okay, if you're on the outside, you would, you would hear the car burbling right now. I hear the burble. So from around 2000 RPM when you're in second gear, you really get a lot of it, but upshift, it's like, yeah, it just does it. From 3000 and under the car actually with the exhaust, I doubt you can hear it on that camera, but if you were outside, you would definitely hear it. Not quite like the Mark V Supra, but you definitely get that LS crackle vibe. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I posted that Tuner Evo has been postponed. So this is my kind of warning to all you guys to, if you haven't already, check your email, because I'm pretty sure they emailed everyone, and check out their socials or the website for more farther updates about that. Everything is getting postponed right now from the NBA to the AHL to literally everything. So unfortunately, it's gonna be postponed, but it's still gonna happen. I guess to stay posted, I'm not sure when the dates are going to be updated or anything like that it's probably once all this corona stuff dies down but i want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't already give it a fat thumbs up and subscribe because we have so much c8 content coming out and i'm gonna give you guys a little hint for tomorrow's video we are gonna go a little bit more uh tj traditional style in tomorrow's video so that is your guys's hint i will see you guys then thank you so much for watching peace out and keep moving forward